Well, Insomniac, that's the production company that puts on EDC, the Electric Daisy Carnival, and it has revealed the charitable recipient for this year's EDC Week charitable initiative. Our Faith Jesse live from downtown Las Vegas with details about this in initiative, so or this announcement, this collaboration. So Faith, last year it went to a great charity, so who's up this year? Well, this year, EDC, it's right around the corner. They surprise students at the Las Vegas Academy because they are using their festival powers this year to give back to the school. And students and faculty this morning, they were ecstatic. They were so excited to find out that they are the fourth recipients ever of this charitable donation. This was the scene this morning inside of the Loden Theater at the Las Vegas Academy School of the Arts. The school will benefit from an auction Insomniac will hold prior to EDC. They'll auction off experiences like helicopter rides, sushi making classes, and backstage VIP hangouts with superstar performers. The money from that auction benefiting Las Vegas Academy, and it's a big chunk of change that's impacted Shade Trees Children's Center in a big way back in 2016. They were the recipients back then. Nearly $120,000 donated to the center transformed the area that services babies to 17-year-olds. And News 3 actually went over there today. We spoke with one Shade Tree rep who says the money brought in some much-needed improvements and additions. I do pre-K in the mornings with the little ones. Uh, we do homework time. We have a group of volunteers that comes once a week and they do arts and crafts with them. We had a more, like more space now. It was more open for us to be able to do more things than now, you know, that before we were not able to do. So last year, the Boys and Girls Club of Southern, Southern Nevada benefited. The year before, or that, that was 2016, so 2015, Culture Shock Las Vegas benefited. So this is the fourth year uh, Insomniac is doing this. EDC, the only festival so far that they're doing it for. So very cool. Uh, over the three years, they've given back $350,000. No word yet on when this auction is going to take place, but there's some really cool experiences out there. So if you want a chance to, uh, bid at those items we will make sure and update you when they are uh, out <laughs> i'm faith jesse reporting